Some of the changes that are arising at the forefront of construction are that projects are becoming boundaryless. So advances in technology and in construction methods are really changing how we look at a site. So one of the things you have to do is take a look at your risk management approach and see if it also needs to change. And you need to change the dynamic from site protection to safe project delivery because of this. We see risk in three buckets. So we see virtual risk, we see off-site risk, and we see on-site risk. So when I talk about the virtual risk, I'm talking about the exposures that are created through BIM, where architects and engineers are looking at those plans, figuring out things ahead of time, and then potentially the latent cyber exposure that that may have when the project's been turned over to the owner. And who knows what can happen at that point in time. And then if I might shift our focus over to offsite protection. <clears throat> so with modular construction, prefab construction, there's more of that being done now than ever. And those are at facilities that you might not be as familiar with. So you need to sit there and evaluate the risk and exposure that that's proposing. What are the risk management approaches that the contractors that are performing that work off-site are taking? Do you feel comfortable in the transit exposure that's going to be presented when they have to move those large modular units from their site to your site? And that can also add some complexity to your risk as well. Yeah, the, yeah. And then third is the traditional thoughts that we think of, of on-site protection. It would be having a security guard, fencing, and lighting. Those things are obviously critical to provide security at the job site. But those can be augmented through technology because there's ways to do electronic monitoring, which are very effective. And there's also new things you can monitor. You can monitor heat, you can monitor water, you can monitor electricity. Things that normally you were monitoring after you turned over the building, now those can be monitored while the construction is ongoing. I think, first, it is daunting. And I would advise they just don't go it alone. Nobody knows all the right answers. So to counter that, I would bring in a team of experts to help you in your process. Uh, so I'd start internally, involve your, your risk management team, your project site director, your chief information officer, your finance people, your logistics people, to help you get a comprehensive understanding of what your team's going to deliver. And then I'd engage the owner, because obviously they're going to live with that building after you have delivered it. And then there's the architects and the engineers that are going to be involved in the design portions of the project. And finally, I think the agent and your insurance carrier can have a seat at that table as well because all of these different people offer perspective to how to deliver a safe project on time and on budget.